Wyoming makes itself corpo nationalist target after passing <coughs> voter ID law. That's right. I, I have no doubt the corporate nationalists are the corporate nationalists are going to come for Wyoming soon enough. And I've talked about corporate nationalism multiple times. Corporate nationalism, these are these giant mega corporations with international powers and interests that have no allegiance to any one nation state that view themselves as a nation state in and of themselves and nation states are just coming to terms with having to deal with these phenomena within their own lands and well there's going to be push up back on that that end but never mind that let's just stick to this story to start off with so this is from uh fox news the the token the token resistance token resistance site right there token resistance not really but token resistance it gives people some sense of hope that they're they're really they have a voice when they really don't well they do but not not in any mainstream media certainly not in fox news wyoming governor signs bill requiring voter id at polls wyoming governor mark gordon signed a bill into law tuesday that will require residents to show some form of identification when voting in person in the next election while some state Democrats criticize the bill as voter oppression. You think how racist this is. This is such racism right here. It's this, this, this notion that somehow human beings are not capable in, the, in this age, in this day and time, of getting voter ID. This is really what it is. You fetishize, you fetishize the black person, and at the same time that you fetishize them, you, you demoralize them because you... You continue to use this language that at some deep level, people are understanding what you're really saying is we don't believe black people can do it. It's it's pretty invidious. And I think more and more people that happen to be born black are starting to figure out just how patronizing the whole affair is. Indiana Attorney General launches important investigation into big tech alleges censoring content. These are... By the way, this is the top story report. I didn't say it at the beginning, but that's what we're doing here. And these are just some of the headlines here. This one is from Louder with Crowder. Louder with Crowder is uh, just maybe tiny bit less shrill than Politics USA on the left. But, mm, yeah. but in this case, uh, the titles, the headline's fine there, Stephen. That's a fine title headline. You're fine today. You're fine today. Activist teachers fiercely oppose my bill to keep critical race theory out of schools. This is from... Uh, why don't you tell me who you're from? Why do you got to do that? I think this is legal... Oh, that's right. Legal insurrection. Legal insurrection is what this is from. And this is... This bears looking at a little bit here. Activist teachers fi fiercely opposed my bill to keep critical race theory out of schools. And and there's so much of uh, whatever you want to call critical race theory. I wouldn't throw it all out. There's about 40% of it for so for me that, that, that actually makes sense. But it's the framing all often. It's the framing. And I'll speak about this over and over again. You don't tell children that there's a thing called whiteness that is evil. And think in any way, shape, or form that you're not going to create a disaster, a violent disaster amongst children, a debilitating, demoralizing, violent consequence of, of placing into the hearts and minds of innocent children this, first of all, this notion of, of generational sin. I mean, that is Old Testament stuff. And, you know, that's the Old Covenant. The Old Covenant is dead we do we, we we unless you don't believe in christ in which if you don't believe in christ your only uh, hope for salvation is to follow the letter of the law but if you believe in christ you follow the spirit of the law the spirit of the law does not condemn you well even even in the old testament uh there was a time i forget where it is where where god specifically says no longer will people suffer from this gener father ch son shall not suffer the sins of his father or whatever so even even under the old covenant that ended. So there there this is bronze ageism. Old ancient bronze ageism and we will perpetuate the violence amongst the factions by by continuing to uh, condemn people to sin for just being born into a certain segment of society. I think I'll end it there. <laughs>